Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will design a simple hero section for our homepage using Elementor. So let's get started. I had already created a video on what is Elementor and how to install it on your WordPress website. So if you don't know how to install Elementor, you can go ahead and watch that video. Alright, so in this video, we will just go ahead and uh, start designing our homepage. It won't be that complicated. I'll just create a simple hero section for our homepage. But if you want me to design a complete homepage using Elementor, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll try to create videos on that. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, I have already installed Elementor on my website. And uh, I'll also show you the theme that I'm using. So this is the theme that I'm using right now. It is called Astra. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and create a new page. So let's go to pages and click on add new. Let's give it a title of home and click on publish. Alright, our page is published. Now you have to click on edit with Elementor. Now let's go ahead and select a template from here. So for now, I'll just select Elementor full width. So we will have the header and footer from our theme, but all the other will be the design from Elementor. So now let's click on edit with Elementor. Now this is how our menu will look according to our theme. And this is the footer of our theme. And the rest of the page is what we will design right now. So on the left side here, we can see all the things that you can add to your page. We have the intersection, heading, image, video buttons and all those things. So first of all, let's add a new section. So to add a new section, you have to click on this plus icon and then you can select a structure from here. So we will select this second one because we want to have two parts for our section. One for some text and uh, we will have an image on the right. So first of all, let's add the image. So to add an image, you can go ahead and click on this icon right here. And then you have to drag this image from here and drop it into this part of the section. And now we can go ahead and choose our image. So let's choose an image from here. So I have this image already in the media library. If you want to upload your own images, you can go ahead to upload files and then select a file from here. I'll use this image that I already have in my media library. So let's select that and uh, then click on insert media. And we can see the image has been inserted over here on the right. Now we'll add a predefined height to this uh, section. So let's click on this uh, middle icon over here called edit section. And then here you can go ahead and select different parameters for this. So for the height, we'll go ahead and select minimum height. And then we'll set a minimum height over here. So we'll just increase this to, we'll just set it to 500. All right, so that's the height of our section. Now let's go ahead and add a heading, some text and a button over here on the left. So click on this icon over here. And first of all, we will add a heading. So just drag this heading over here. And here you can edit your text. So we'll just type live blogger. And if you go to style over here, we can style uh, this uh, element. So we can select the text color, typography, text shadow and uh, blend mode. So we'll keep the text color same, but we will change this font. So let's click on this icon and uh, we can change the font from here. So let's click on uh, this uh, font family and uh, we'll just use the font called Roboto. And uh, we will set the weight as 900. And we'll just increase the size of our heading. So we'll just set it as 64. All right, now we will add some text over here. So let's click on this icon and uh, drag and drop this text editor over here. We'll just type something over here. Alright, so we'll increase the font size of this as well. So let's go to style and click on typography and increase the size of the font from here. So we'll just keep it as uh, 28. 
and we'll reduce the line height of our text so we'll set it as 1.4 right now lastly we will add a button so just drag this button over here on the left part of your section and for the text over here we'll just type learn more and you can provide a link for your button over here so whenever someone clicks on this button they'll be taken to a different page and then we can set a size from here so we'll just select medium and then we can even add an icon to our button so let's add one we'll click on this plus button over here and we'll search for info and we can select an icon from here so we'll just select this one right here and then click on insert so here we can see the icon now let's add a spacing for the icon all right so now let's go ahead and uh, click on style and we'll go to typography and then we'll transform this button to uppercase so just go over here and click on uppercase and then we'll also go ahead and change the color of the button so just go over here and click on background color and uh, we will select a color from here all right so let's select this color right here and we'll just copy this uh, hex value from here and now we'll add a hover state to our button so just click on hover and for the background color we will just paste our hex code and then we'll just bring it down and uh, here we can see whenever we hover over this we have this dark color for our button and uh, we can have different animations over here so if you click on shrink when we hover over this button the button will shrink so we have all these different options over here for the animation we'll just select this grow animation all right so when we hover over this the button will grow and then we have all these different options over here we'll just keep them all as it is now if we'll just go ahead and click on update and if you click on this preview changes over here it will display how our page will look over here so let's click on that and this is how our page looks right now so this design looks fine but we have a little bit more space in uh, between uh, this text and this button so we'll fix that and uh, then we will also add some animation when uh, the page loads so we will add some fade animation to this left section and uh, we will add some sliding animation to this image so let's go over here to the editor and uh, first of all let's remove this uh, gap from here so we'll select this text and uh, then go to advanced and then we can edit the margin over here so right now if we edit something it will change for top right bottom and left so first of all we'll click on this link values together and now it will change individually so for the bottom margin we will uh, just add some negative margin so i think that looks fine and we'll move this complete left part to the middle so let's click on this edit column over here and uh, then go ahead and then select the vertical align and set it to middle and we'll add some animation over here so let's go to advanced and then click on motion effects and we can select an entrance animation from here so let's click on that and uh, for this left part we will select fade in and we can select the duration from here so let's set it as normal so we have the fade in animation for this left part and for the right part we will have a slide in animation from the right so let's select the right column and then we'll go to advanced and motion effects and then we'll just go ahead and search for slide in right so here we have it all right so we have both our animations set up now let's go ahead and click on update and then click on preview changes and we can see the animation right here and we also have this hover effect alright so that's basically it for this video 
This was a simple example of how to design a web page using Elementor in WordPress. Now if you want me to design a complete home page using Elementor for WordPress, please let me know in the comments below and I will create some videos on that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, exit to dashboard and then click on update. Alright, so our page has been updated. Now let's click on view page. And we can see our page right here. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.